Hi everyone, my name is Kendra. Welcome, or welcome back to this cozy space. Things around here have been pretty quiet for some time. Maybe a year? I just wanted to sit with you today, give you a bit of an update, and let you know what you can expect from me in the future. I didn't prepare anything, so this is probably gonna be really rambly. I don't even have topics that I wanna cover, but I know I need to do this, so, hi. <laughs> it's embarrassing because I've done this so many times where I've sat down, I've come on here, said hello, I've given you an update, and I said I was coming back. And I would do okay for a little while, and then all of a sudden, poof, I would just go away. And the cycle repeats, and here we are again. I feel like I kind of have it figured out, and I think that means maybe I'm in a better space to jump in. I'm not promising consistency because I just, I'm just not gonna do that. But I'm here, hi, again. Here's what's been going on. Life, craziness, homeschooling our children, setting down roots in a new state, building a community, starting a homeschool co-op, working in my home, trying to make it feel more like us, unpacking, we still have boxes packed y'all. Something else is quite embarrassing, but life has been so hectic. It's been beautiful and I have so much to be grateful for, but it has been so busy and there's been so much change in such a short amount of time. So we're gonna reverse a little bit and if this is your first time seeing my face, I'm glad you're here. We have fun when I'm around. I'll tell you more about that later. If you like a good story, uh, go get yourself something warm to sip and come back and I'll fill you in on just like a little bit of what happened over the last three years. So we're originally from Texas. I was a teacher in Texas. My husband worked in the tech industry. We were in a home that we had been in for 16 years, a home that we brought our boys home to from the hospital that we are growing our family in. We have family in Texas and then you know what happened and everything changed, much like it did for many other people across the world. I became the online teacher for my school's department. My boys became online students and my husband started officing out of our house. So I had one child downstairs doing school from his computer. I had one upstairs in their shared bedroom doing school from his computer. My husband was in our office doing work and I was officing out of the corner of our bedroom teaching students from 8.30 in the morning until 2.30 in the afternoon, which would roll into my tutoring hours, also online, which I would finish my day with packing packets for my students. What does that mean, packing packets? Well, I worked for a private school and they wanted to make sure that parents were still getting the supplies that was included in their tuition and also it's more engaging for the students. So every art project, every math worksheet, every science activity, whatever it was that we were doing, I had to prepare that in baggies two weeks at a time for 14 students. I don't remember exactly how many students I had in my classroom that last year, but something like that. It is a lot of work. And that was on top of my normal teaching hours and my tutoring. I felt like I was on autopilot and I don't think I was fully being honest with myself how hard that was on me, how hard it was on my boys, our whole family, we were so busy and I just felt this divide. So when we got out here to Utah and had this huge change of moving across the nation to a state we'd never been to, to an area we didn't even, I didn't give two thoughts about Southern Utah, into a home that we had never seen before. That's right, we bought this house through a video tour that we did with our realtor. We saw it for the first time when we came out here for a two day trip and we met the home inspector. We got to be in the house one time for about 40 minutes and that was it. Then we flew back to Texas because we had work to do. We are so grateful to be here and life is so good. And if I'm being honest with you, I feel like Everything is exactly as it should be. I miss teaching, I miss my school, I miss my friends, I miss being close to my mom, but there's so much good out here. And forever, however long this phase of our journey lasts, 
I'm so grateful and I know it's supposed to be a part of our story. But what I'm realizing is as we're settling in a little bit more here and the boys are thriving and I feel like we're doing good and we're celebrating our third, is it our third Christmas? Yeah, we're celebrating our third Christmas in this house. I'm feeling this like shift inside to be more creative, to tackle home projects, to get back to YouTube. And what I've noticed is it's because I was on survival mode for so long and there was so much going on. And while all this shifting and changing is happening and I'm feeling it, but I'm just, oh, I think I was still trying to hold on like the parts of me that always were. And I just needed to kind of step away from things for a while. And some things have kind of filtered back into my life and some haven't. But what has never changed is this. It's really kind of odd to me because this channel is so tiny. It's so tiny. And I've had this channel for so long, 10 plus years. I think I started before I even had Weston. A lot of those really old videos I've privated since then, but you can still look back and see the boys when they were itty bitty babies and kind of watch them grow up on the channel over, over the years. And we treasure those little memories that we have captured on this channel. And while I've had this channel for so long and my life has kind of ebbed and flowed and changed as everybody's life does, I've never once like not wanted to get back to sharing on here. And I don't really know what get back means, but there's all these other social media platforms and I enjoy them and I dabble in them and then I leave and I never want to go back for, you know, for whatever amount of time. But that's never been the case with YouTube. With YouTube, I'm always like, oh, when this happens, maybe I can start posting. Or when this happens, maybe this or maybe that. So I think I'm finally in a place where I'm, I'm ready. It's been three years, a lot has happened. Life is so different out here. It's so beautiful. There's so many things I have to share with you. The hiking, the activity, the adventure, the home life, the, uh, all of it. I just have this urge to share. And maybe it's just me and 10 other people watching or occasionally 100, maybe 300. And that's okay. And I have peace with that. And I'm older now. I have wrinkles and I have texture on my skin and I have gray hair and you don't see a lot of that on YouTube, but that's okay. I'm here just to connect with you guys and share a little glimpse of what's going on and kind of fill you in on how different things are out here. And I hope that you'll join me for the ride. I'm not making any promises. I'm not saying I'm doing Vlogmas in my heart. I really want to say that, but I know if I say it, I'm going to be so disappointed if I don't follow through. But I can tell you this, I've already started recording videos. So I have a video where my boys are sharing what they thrifted each other for Christmas. I have a video of us going out to get our very first ever fresh Christmas tree in Utah. We used to get fresh trees in Texas, but here it's a really cool experience and I'll tell you more about it in that video. Um, and I have a wrap with me video where we're going to go over a few questions that I've been asked on Instagram and I have a holiday thrift haul coming. There's so much. I have a list of things that I want to share with you over the next month. I feel ready to do it. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited. Um, things are already loaded on my computer. I got a new software to edit videos on. So I'm excited to learn something new and connect in this kind of creative outlet of my life. Something that I really enjoy doing for whatever reason, I really enjoy making videos. So I'll see you around. And I hope that your December is getting off to a beautiful start. And let's have some fun on here. Bye, everybody. Thank you.